welcome back to my studio uh, this Monday. Uh, today I'm going to be working on trying to bring this painting pretty much to completion, as close as I can. Uh, there may be some remaining highlights that will come back on a third day uh, to add on, but uh, I'm going to start with mainly laying in my shadows first, getting the darks in, and then coming over top of those with my lights. So uh, I'm excited about where this painting is going to go, and uh, enjoy. Thanks for joining me. So here I'm just redefining the drawing, getting in the more accurate colors of the darks of the trees, and I'm really the whole time thinking of three tones, thinking of my darks laying in there as you see in the bottom, and then your mid-tones they are laying in, and then your highlights. So really I'm breaking all the, the painting down to mainly three value tones. And in those value tones, I'm changing the temperature or the uh, hue, whether it's cool or warm. Uh, for the most part, these values are cool in the bottom foreground, a lot of purples. Uh, but also into the midground, I'm, I'm changing the, the temperature of the, the value uh, of the shadows, um, giving them more warmer shadows, um, some of these almost uh, purplish red tones and uh, just really to give it interest. Uh, you know, I'm working from a photograph um, and I'm seeing all these different colors in the shadows but I'm bringing them out in more bold abstract forms. And as you can see here, I'm, I'm going back into the, the background a little bit. And as you work toward the background in a landscape, it's going to decrease in its, um, what is the word, saturation. So it's, it's reducing saturation of color as it's going further and further back into the background, especially in the grass. Um, but here, of course, uh, I'm a little behind in the audio here, working in the, the sky. Uh, having that orange undertone really adds interest and in layering once you layer over those blues and the yellows. Um, just adds m so much more depth into a sky. So often skies can be just really flat if you just lay in a, a blue or a yellow. Uh, to me it's just flat and kind of lifeless. Working on the water there. Uh, redefining, giving it highlights, bringing in some of the sky color into that water. That's why I left the water toward the, the last until I had really brought in the sky color so that I could bring in those same colors into the water. Just having a lot of fun here. Well, that's it for today. This is where I'm going to leave the painting. I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to see if maybe there might be a few more highlights to add. A lot of times after it dry, it might get a little more dull. So I'll come back in with those final highlights and minor corrections, possibly. But uh, thanks for joining me in my studio today and seeing this painting pretty much completed. I really enjoyed the time. I'll see you next time.